the tongue has the power of life and death, and those who love it will eat its fruit. Those who love it will eat its fruit. I'm talking of the goodness of it, right? Not the badness of it, not the cussing of it, but those who love it and treat it well and use it right will eat its fruit. You sitting there broke, busted, and disgusted, all you doing is complaining about it, but you could be praying about it. You could be blessing it. Now you come at me with, yeah, but you don't know how hard my life is. No, you don't know how good my God is. You don't know how big he is. He wants to be amazed. I'm telling you, he waiting for someone to amaze him who can get the bitterness and yet turn it into the blessing. He's looking for that. He's looking for those men and women who would dare. I don't care what life looked like. Look to their savior, look to their king for the betterment of it. Who may be in a position right now that it's a hard place, like a hard road to hoe. Like that plow is tough right now. And yet they bless what their hands are put to. Ah, I'm telling you, there's principle in this. You got pain? All right, all of us do. What you gonna do about it? You gonna bless it or you gonna cuss it all your day? Because I promise you, you choose the latter, death only follows. That life you don't want is what comes out because your power of the words that you speak. And I'm telling you, there's such power and God honors so much what we allow to come from our hearts out our mouths. There's power in the tongue, life and death lying the tongue. So watch your mouth, even in your suffering. Watch your mouth. Just because you're going through something doesn't give you the right to talk something. I'm just being real with you. Just because you're going through some hard times doesn't mean you get to talk hard. You still bless, you still anoint. Why? Because that's where the difference is.